might grab a few more um, gels if you've got some. Well, stage 14 was tricky, to say the least. Um, the ride up over Tirabad, uh, military road was, was good fun. Um, obviously pretty climby to get up there, but it was good fun. Um, there was a rally taking place and uh, a load of uh, people on the rifle range and uh, that kept it interesting in terms of traffic up there. I've uh, barely ever been overtaken by a car up on Tirabad Military Road, but that was particularly busy today, um, but with rally cars. And then we came down uh, the other side, back into Clandovery, and just before we came into Clandovery, uh, Stefan had a flat, another flat amongst the team, and um, couldn't get it fixed. It's a, he's using um, tubeless, so that was a problem, and uh, couldn't get it fixed. So he nursed himself back, fortunately, to the car, which was only a couple of miles away where we were headed. So me and Rod soldiered on um, and uh, I hit a real flat spot. I had a real difficult time for about an hour and a half. I guess about like 50 to 65, 70K or something like that. I really struggled. I could have easily just climbed off the bike, uh, if I'm honest. Um, I just felt really flat and didn't have any energy at all. And then it dawned on me that with all the chaos yesterday, um, having to get back and pack sort the bike out get the bike over to trek for them to look at uh, and then all the panic to get over to brecon uh, before it got too late i'd actually only had sort of one relatively small meal um apart from some breakfast and then gels i had sort of some uh, some macaroni cheese in the evening and it's just not enough to fuel uh, repeated four four and a half sort of five hour days on the bike it's just not enough fuel so <clears throat> so that was clearly what the problem was today, but it did make dark times. I had to uh, really dig in quite deep and all the things that I was thinking about, you know, all the stuff that had gone on last year and all the messages I've had from people, um, not just offering support, but also sort of the stories people have told, parents and uh, husbands, wives and themselves getting sick and stuff, and it did help me dig in today. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, as I said at the race start, it's not it's not as big a deal as kind of going through chemo or something, but I have to make sure I've eaten. I got back straight away and uh, had a load of rice and a flatbread, and I'm going to go back after this fantastic jacuzzi and uh, and carry on eating even more food. I think so. That's that's pretty much the story from today, other than the fact that um, Rod was an absolute superhero. It was a toss up whether he came and joined me today or tomorrow for the ride up the tumble, and I'm very grateful that he opted for today because with Stefan having to uh, to retire from the stage, I would have been all on my own. And I reckon if I had finished it at all, it would have taken me six hours because I was really struggling. But then about 40K from the end, Stefan uh, had driven out um, with some gels and some drinks and some water, which really helped, not just uh, in terms of sustenance, but in terms of morale as well. And then uh, got back to find that the place we're staying at's got a jacuzzi, so um, what better way to soak the weary ride away than uh, to, to spend a bit of time in some bubbling water, which I'm going to do a bit off now. Stage 15 tomorrow, uh, quite hard undulating roads to begin with, which we'll have to take easy, and then up the tumble, which is just grim. Nothing nice about the tumble at all other than the top. A long sweeping descent, might even stop for a coffee uh, when we get to, oh, I forget the name of the place now. Um, but yeah, we might stop for a coffee and then, um, and then it's kind of flattish roads until you get back to Raglan and then there's like three beasts, absolute beasts to get over before getting back to the car. But that'll be it tomorrow, that'll be the hardest day and that'll be the end of the second block and that'll leave me with just a rest day, which I really can't wait for. I mean, I genuinely I can't wait for Monday. I just can't wait. I'm so tired. I'm so knackered. Now I feel physically knackered now as well. And up until today, I hadn't. My legs had felt absolutely fine. Now I'm really starting to feel it. It's starting to bite. Um, so I can't wait for Monday. I'm just going to chill and just relax. And then, and then it's the home straight. Three days more riding in Brecon. A long day going out to Glastonbury. A time, a time trial, which is only 27k. And then the short ride up into Bristol to meet everybody up on the downs and, and draw a line under this hole. Last year, um, 
So thanks for watching. I'm not sure how these videos are going to pan out because I'm struggling to upload stuff here in Brecon, but they will get made. Um, anyway, that is it for now. Adios. Thank you.